So at this point, we should understand that if we've got something like 7 squared, we know that means 7 times 7. And if we have 7 cubed, then that is 7 times 7 times 7. So what would happen if I were to multiply these two things together? So if I had 7 squared and multiplied that by 7 cubed, what would I end up with? Well, I would have 7 times 7 from the 7 squared. I would have 7 times 7 times 7 from the 7 cubed. And I'm multiplying those two things together. So what I now have is 7, but I've got it 5 times. So it's being multiplied by itself 5 times. And so I can write that as 7 to the power of 5. And what we've done is we've said, well, we have 2 here, and we have 3 here, and we added those together. So essentially, what's happened is that when you're multiplying 7 squared by 7 cubed, it's like you're adding the indices together. 2 plus 3 makes the 5. But this seems uh, maybe it's just a coincidence. Okay, Maybe that's uh, not how it works generally. So let's change it up a little bit. If instead we said that we had, OK, let's have 7 to the 4 and uh, 7 to the 5. OK, so 7 to the 4 is 7 times 7 times 7. So 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. And 7 to the 5 is 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Now, if I multiplied those two things together, I would have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. This is 7 to the 4. And we would have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. That's 7 to the 5. And I'm multiplying those two things together. What do I now have? I have 7 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 7 to the power of 9. And that has come from adding up 4 7s there, and then another 5 7s there. And 4 plus 5 makes the 9. So what we can say in general from this is that if you have two numbers with the same base, so I'll use b for base, um, and it, you had something like b to the power of x, and you are multiplying that by b to the power of y. So this is what I mean by the same base number. Here we had 7s, but I could equally have chosen 3s or 2s or 100s. Okay? As long as those two numbers are the same, then I can combine this into a single expression, which is b to the power of x plus y. So when you multiply where the base numbers are the same, you can add the indices together. OK? So an example of this would be something like 3 to the power of 4 times by 3 to the power of 6. The base number is the same, so that's 3. And because you're multiplying them, you can add the indices together. 4 plus 6 is 10. And so you can do that very quickly rather than having to write it all out.